Since the wedding season has started, I'm going to be doing a series of wedding videos with Naika. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this royal traditional Indian wedding makeup look. Since I did my own wedding makeup, I thought I'd show you a neutral look that you can work with pretty much any colored outfit. I've done a neutral eye with a bold red lip. So let's get started. So before I start my makeup, I'm just going to prep my skin with a moisturizer. I use the Vichy Aqualia Thermal Light Moisturizer because it's quite lightweight and doesn't make your skin greasy. It helps your foundation go on smoother. And I just use my fingers to apply the foundation all over my face and my neck. Next, I used a primer on my face and I used a combination of two primers. First, I used the Natio Ageless Illuminating Primer. This is a brightening primer and I use this all over my face to get a bit of glow for my skin. And then next, I use the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer, but only for my T-zone because this is a mattifying primer and it'll just help control the oil in the T-zone. And I use my fingers for both the primers. For my base, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and to add a bit of glow to the skin, I mix this in with the Revlon Skin Lights Illuminator. This is a medium coverage foundation and has a semi-matte finish. Because it covers up imperfections quite well, it photographs really nicely and is good for bridal makeup. Next, I'm going to use a concealer and I'm using the Maybelline Dream Bloomy Touch Concealer in the shade Honey. Now this is a highlighting concealer so it also brightens while concealing the skin. So I'm using this in my under eye area, a bit on the forehead, along the bridge of the nose and also on the cupid's bow. And to blend it, I'm just using a fluffy brush. So my base is nearly done now. I'm just going to use a powder to set everything and to prevent my concealer from creasing. I'm using the L'Oreal Matte Magic Powder in the shade N6 Nude Honey and I'm just using a fluffy powder brush to powder my face. So my base makeup is done now and I'm going to start with my eyes. For my eyes, I've chosen to do a very neutral eye. I'm going to use a bronze and a brown eyeshadow, but I'm going to go a little heavy on the liner. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Welcome to Pleasure Dome palette. This has a nice selection of neutrals in shimmer as well as matte finish. I'm using one of the matte brown eyeshadows for my crease and this will just add a bit of depth and dimension to the eyes. Once I've blended down the brown eyeshadow in the crease, I'm going to apply the bronze eyeshadow all over the lid. I'm using a flat brush so that I can get the maximum color intensity on the lid. 
Next, I'm going to use a kajal and I'm using a really jet black long wearing one. It's a Lakme Absolute Ultimate Coal and I'm using this to line my upper as well as the lower water lines. For my upper lash line, I'm going to use a black gel liner. It's going to stay really long and you can do a nice winged eyeliner with it. I'm using the Maybelline gel liner and a small brush to apply this. My eye makeup is nearly done now. I'm just going to finish it off with a mascara. I'm using the Color Bar Zoom and Woosh Mascara which I really like because it gives a very dramatic look which is perfect for a bridal makeup. This is a bridal look. I want to really accentuate my eyes. And I've used a pair of false eyelashes from Ardell. The number is 403 and this is part of the edgy range. What I like about these lashes is that they have these really nice flared ends that just draws attention to the winged eyeliner. To fill in my brows, I'm using the Color Bar Stunning Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Chestnut. What I like about this pencil is that it has a small brush at the other end which is really useful for brushing your brows into place. And I'm just using this pencil to fill in the arches and any gaps in my brows. So my eye makeup is done now and I'm going to work on my cheeks next. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Sculpting Palette. I'm using the matte contouring color from this palette just to add a bit of definition to my cheekbones and jawline. I'm just brushing this powder under my cheekbones and along the jawline to give a more sculpted look to my face in pictures. For my cheeks, I'm using a color bar blush. This is the shade Paparazzi Bronze and it's a nice pinky bronze color that adds a beautiful glow to the cheeks. I'm going in with a powder brush and blending this really well with my contour so that I don't have two lines of color on my cheeks. Next, I'm going to use a highlighter. And once again, I'm using the same palette that I used for contouring my face. The Makeup Revolution Sculpting Palette is a really versatile product because you can use it for the cheeks as well as for the eyes. I'm using the highlight color from this palette for the top of my cheekbones. And I'm using a fan brush so that I don't deposit too much color. I'm also using the highlight color for my brow bones as well and this will just add a nice glow to my face. This is a nice cool red lip color and I'm using it not just to line my lips but to fill the lip area entirely. This is going to act as a base for my lipstick and help my lipstick last much longer. And the last step is lipstick. I'm using the L'Oreal Pure Reds Lipstick in the shade Pure Rouge which is a really nice deep rich red color and I'm using this with a lip brush all over my lips and that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. All the products that I've used in this video are available on Nykaa and I'm going to link all of those in the description bar below. Let me know your thoughts on this look in the comment section below. 
and please don't forget to subscribe to the Naika TV channel for more bridal videos by me. And next I am going to show you how to transform this traditional makeup look to a more modern after party look. So keep watching.